Hi, I'm Dr. Nutan Prakash Vishwakarma. And today I'm going to demonstrate how to construct the phylogenetic tree by using software Mega. So, dear students, before we move for practical portion, let me tell you about what is phylogenetic analysis. Phylogenetic is analysis means to establish the evolutionary relationship among organism or genes or proteins is known as phylogenetic analysis and the way by which you represent that relationship that is known as simply phylogenetic tree. So first and foremost thing which you require once you go for the phylogenetic analysis, first of all you should have the target. Target means for which particular gene or for which particular organism or for which particular protein you want to study the evolutionary relationship. So once you have the sequence with you for which you are searching for the phylogenetic relationship, next you should have the homologous sequences. So how to find the homologous sequences of your own sequence? Just simply if we do one thing, if we run your our sequence with the BLAST, so obviously BLAST is going to search the related sequences from the database and those sequences you can recruit in your phylogeny. So step number one, what we are going to do, we will take one sequence and we will perform the BLAST so that I can select the uh, homologous sequences. In the step number two, once you have many sequences with you, you can go for the multiple sequence alignment. And after the multiple sequence alignment, we can make the phylogenetic tree. And once phylogenetic tree have been generated, we can use them for our publication or for the research purpose. Once you go for the phylogenetic analysis, a lot of options are available. Mainly three methods I am telling you. The first method is the maximum parsimony. Second is the distance based method in that it is uh, like UPG may or NJ method. And the third is known as maximum likelihood. Not many methods are there, but mainly three methods I am telling you. Usually the students have confusion, our researchers have the confusion. These many algorithms are available, which algorithm I should actually select. So I am giving you a brief idea. Once you perform the multiple sequence alignment and you found that very strong level of similarity is there once you perform the multiple sequence alignment, in that case maximum parsimony is recommended. If middle level similarity is there, you can go for the UPGMA or NJ method. The difference between UPGMA and NJ method is once you perform the UPGMA, you will find the branch length of the trees are equal, and in the NJ level, the branch length of the trees will be unequal and that will be directly proportional to number of mutations. And in the maximum likelihood, once you perform the multiple sequence alignment and you found it is very low level of similarity. In that case, maximum likelihood method is recommended. If you want to know more about the theory portions of phylogenetic analysis, the theoretical videos are available in my channel. You can draw, go through it, all the algorithms I have almost explained. So here I am just demonstrating the practical portion. Okay. So <clears throat> let me take one of my own example. The sequence I have submitted in the NCBI, and for that I want to study the Phylogenetic analysis of the sequence. Suppose it is HQ190916. Since it is deposited in NCBI and I have the assassin number with me, likewise, you also have the gene sequence or protein sequence from the concern database you can retrieve. So, here uh, for sake of example, you can see it is Salinococcus roseus, one bacteria. The strain is RBSCOKH1 and it is 16S ribosomal R, ribosomal RNA gene, means it is DNA. So let me take the faster sequence of it. So faster sequence is in front of you and uh, let me open one notepad so that I can copy paste in that particular sequence in notepad in the faster format. While you are copying the format uh, faster file, you have to make sure it is start with the greater than sign and all the sequence you can copy and paste. What students do actually they miss this greater than sign and then they face the difficulty. So 
you can see the entire fasta format i have uh, copy and pasted now as i already discussed that you need the homologous sequences so how to find the homologous sequences just simply if i run the blast from the entire database it is going to search the homologous sequences if i keep it as by default nucleotide selection uh, collection then from all the sequences of the database the blast is going to perform the sequence that is search so maybe unnecessary results you are going to get maybe some of the sequences may match with the human or bacteria other or maybe it is sometime also uh, with viruses or fungi so definitely you know that 16s rrna is present only in the bacteria so to avoid the false positive result and lot many results i am restricting this database to rrna so that it is going to match with only bacterial if you have the gene sequence of the eukaryotes so you can keep it a standard database nr it depends on which type of sequence you are searching for so here without doing anything just simply let me search the blast let me perform the blast and definitely within uh, depends on the internet speed within one or two minutes you are going to get the result so many factors are uh, you know responsible to get the result maybe internet speed and uh, the load on the server so blast you can see uh, quickly i got the result and here i got the 100 sequences so to save the time uh, i'm just selecting five to six sequences for the demonstration point of view and again it depends on your research your uh, the purpose of the research you can recruit more than that sequences it depends on your research on which particular domain you are working with so for the demonstration point of view I'm, i have just selected six sequences only and let me click over here the download so that uh, all the sequences in a single click i can download so here you can see the fasta complete sequence genbank something here i am putting the fasta aligned sequences so all the sequences are going to be downloaded on a single click so here you can see the six sequences in the fasta format have been downloaded in my computer so you can see here all the sequences are in the fasta format only so let me copy it and paste in my notepad where i have put in my the sequence of my uh, interest okay what my sequence was there the first sequence is there and remaining six sequence six sequences i have pasted here now what i am going to do just you note it down please be very careful and if required you pause the video perform with me and i'm sure you will be able to do the phylogenetic analysis very easily on the file click on the save as now on the desktop i'm just going to save this particular file in the fasta format so say for example i am keeping this file name as Salini. you can keep any name and the important thing is you have to put faster here okay dot faster if you don't put dot faster here your software is going to be uh, make some uh, trouble for you and in the text document you don't have to forget to select the all file so here you see the name of the file is voluntary you can keep anything but dot faster is compulsory and here you have to select the all file go on the desktop and let me save it now i can close all my notepad files because i have saved this particular thing on the desktop now the next thing required obviously you have the now you have all your own sequence and the uh, homologous sequences with you the next thing you require the software with the help of that you will be able to do the phylogenetic analysis so for that one one very popular and freely available software i'm going to use that is mega mega software if you put on the simply google mega software phylogeny something you are going to get the link of that mega software so it's a matter of only few clicks and that software will be available to you here you can see it depends upon you what type of uh, uh, computer you are using whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit to old 32 bit so all the latest computers have 64 bit only so let me click over the download you have to make sure whether your computer is of 32 bit or 64 bit see here just i have scrolled it you have to accept the terms and conditions of the software you scroll it out here some more example uh, means uh, some more uh, options you have to select like i am a, from which country you are you can mention you are the researcher or instructor doesn't matter you can click anything and here i am working with the university so i have two things i have selected now let me click over the download now your software 
have been started the downloading. Just like other softwares, once the complete file will be downloaded, you just double click on it and follow the instructions next, 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 and automatically your software is going to be downloaded. It is no, there is no difficulty at all. You know how to install any particular software. So here, to, since I have already downloaded and installed, that's why I have paused it. Okay, so you don't do that. So now the software have been installed. Once software will be installed in your computer, the desktop shortcut will be like this. Let me click over the Mega 11 and just wait which kind of interface you are going to get. See, it's a very simple interface. Here you have to click over the data. Once I click over the data, I have to click over the open a file session and go on the desktop. I have saved the, all my files, all my sequences in the file name as salinococcus.fasta. Let me open it. It is going to ask the question whether you want to align or analyze. So definitely I'm going to align because multiple sequence alignment I have to perform. I told you with all these sequences, you have to perform the multiple sequence alignment. Let me click over the alignment. Lot many options, lot many softwares are available to, for the alignment. Here I'm choosing the Cluster W, you can choose muscles also. You can take any multiple sequence alignment software. Almost they are going to give the same result. No much more difference. So let me do it by align by cluster W. Here it is going to ask you nothing selected for alignment, select all. Yes. Okay. So it is automatically going to select. Now let me keep all these parameters as default and click the OK. It depends on number of sequences you have selected and what kind of processor you are using. It is going to make the calculations and quickly you will get the answer. Since uh, I have only seven sequences here, so I got the answers. I got the uh, multiply aligned sequences. If I scroll it, you can see here the star. Wherever star is there means this particular column is totally 100% conserved. So you can see the number of stars. If you remember in Initial of my introduction, I told you if a strong level of similarity you found, the most recommended algorithm in the phylogeny is the maximum parsimony. So I'm going to use the maximum parsimony method. Okay. In the starting and in the end, only differences are there. So I think if I use the maximum parsimony, it would be great for me. So let me click over the data and I can export this alignment in the mega format on the desktop again. See here, salinococcus. Now it is automatically have taken the dot meg and keep it by default because if you know in a starting I have saved the sequence in the FASTA format and now after multiple sequence alignment I'm going to save the same file in the form of the mega format. So while mega do the phylogenetic analysis it reads the mega format. Let me click over OK. I can click over no and let me close it. Now you are all set to perform the phylogenetic analysis. Now let me go over the phylogeny. Here lot many options are there. Here I am going to tell you about the maximum parsimony test. If you want to use the UPGMA or never joining or maximum likelihood method, the steps will be same. So let me click over the maximum parsimony method. The first requirement is multiple sequence alignment. Once you have the multiple sequence alignment, you can choose any of these algorithms. The steps will be going to save. So let me click over the maximum parsimony tree and it is going to ask you the mega format, the file, the multiple sequence alignment file. Let me select it, click over the open and now the small window is in front of you. Here you can test the phylogeny so that whatever relationship you are going to get with the help of uh, phylogenetic uh, tree construction by the mega you can check actually the confidence. So for that one, it is bootstrap method you can select. And here I am putting the replication size 100. If you want to know more about the bootstrap, you can go on my theory lecture. There I have explained in very detail what is the bootstrap and what uh, which type of bootstrap value is actually, uh, what bootstrap value tells you and how much score should be for your analysis. So here by default, I'm keeping at 100. You can make it more also. Let me click over the OK. And within a fraction of minutes, you can see now Mega have done the phylogenetic analysis for you 
and you can see the beautiful tree in front of you here you can change the way you want to represent that sequence it is rectangular you represent in the uh, no. many options are there straight or curved it's up to you which kind of tree you like and one more thing you would uh, i want to make in your notice if i you see the detail of the all the taxa it is no it is very lengthy so if i go in the my notepad file in the pasta format and if i edit that definitely i would have get the better representation of the tree but anyhow you can do the editing and you can make the more beautiful pictures so now the tree is available with me now you can see the bootstrap value is 94 100 100 here it is bit less it is 62 so as per this uh, relationship is concerned 94 and 100 and 100 if bootstrap value is more than 80 in that case the phylogenetic result is uh, you know you are confident that is correct one if it is below 80 you can recruit more number of sequences to reach up to the conclusion so now the tree is in front of you i can stop for the calculation now tree is in front of you so you can export this tree for your publications how to save it I, let me go on the image you can save as png file or in any other format which you like go on the okay okay let me again save as png let me select the location where i want to save this one click on the desktop you can keep any name which you like and you click you can click on the save okay now you can see in the desktop let me go over the desktop and you can see the result have been saved in my desktop and i can use this particular tree for my publications so the same way i told you about the maximum parsimony you can do the same steps for the upgma or nj or maximum likelihood so i think today you learned the basics of how to perform the phylogenetic analysis and once you have any problems by using these simple steps you will be able to do the phylogenetic and our constructions so if you like the video you can hit the like you can share with your friends also and for more bioinformatics related videos you can subscribe the channel so that you can get the notifications thank you for supporting see you in the next video namaskar